Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. What are your greatest strengths and weaknesses? So, can you tell me about your greatest strengths and weaknesses? Sure. One of my greatest strengths is my attention to detail. I'm really meticulous when it comes to ensuring that everything is accurate and up to date. I also have strong communication skills, which I think are essential for any team-based project. I'm a good listener and I'm able to convey my ideas clearly and concisely. Those are definitely important skills to have. How about your weaknesses? I would say one of my weaknesses is that I can sometimes get bogged down in the details and lose sight of the big picture. It's something I'm aware of and I've been working on developing a more strategic mindset. I also tend to be a bit of a perfectionist, which can sometimes lead to analysis paralysis or overthinking things. That's understandable. How do you mitigate those weaknesses in your work? For the first one, I try to step back and look at the project as a whole and ask myself what the ultimate goal is and how each detail contributes to that. And for the perfectionism, I try to set realistic timelines and deadlines for myself and remind myself that sometimes good is better than perfect. How do you handle conflict or difficult situations? Can you tell me how you handle conflict or difficult situations? Absolutely. I believe that the key to handling conflict is to address it head on and communicate openly and honestly. I try to understand the other person's perspective and work towards finding a solution that benefits everyone involved. I'm also able to remain calm and composed, even in high pressure situations. That's a great approach. Can you give me an example of a difficult situation you faced and how you resolved it? Sure. In my previous job, I had a disagreement with a colleague over the direction of a project. We had different opinions on how to proceed and it was causing tension between us. I scheduled a meeting to talk it out and we were able to come to a compromise that satisfied both of our concerns. We ended up working together closely and producing a successful project. Excellent. How about dealing with difficult clients or customers? I believe that it's important to remain professional and courteous, even in difficult situations. I try to actively listen to their concerns and work towards finding a solution that meets their needs. If the situation becomes too tense, I will escalate it to a high authority to ensure that the issue is resolved properly. Good to know. Thank you for sharing your approach to conflict resolution. Do you have any questions for me about the company or the position? Can you tell me a little about yourself? Hi, thanks for coming in today. Can you tell me a little about yourself? Yes, of course. My name is Sarah and I recently graduated from XYZ University with a degree in marketing. I've always been interested in the creative side of marketing. And during my time at school, I had the opportunity to work on several marketing campaigns for local businesses. I really enjoyed the process of developing a concept and seeing it come to life through various channels. That's great to hear. What inspired you to pursue a career in marketing? I've always been drawn to storytelling and the way brands can connect with consumers through effective messaging. Marketing allows me to use my creativity and strategic thinking skills to help businesses communicate their value proposition to their target audience. I'm also really interested in the role of data and analytics in marketing and how we can use insights to improve our campaigns and drive results. 
That's a great perspective. Can you tell me about a project you worked on that you're particularly proud of? Sure. I worked on a campaign for a local restaurant that was struggling to attract customers during the pandemic. We developed a series of social media posts highlighting the unique menu items and the chef's background, and also created a limited time offer to incentivize people to come in. The campaign was a huge success, and the restaurant saw a significant increase in sales during the promotion period. Impressive. Thanks for sharing that. Can you tell me a little more about your experience with social media marketing? Why are you interested in this position slash company? So, can you tell me why you're interested in this position and our company? Yes, absolutely. I've been following your company for a while now and I'm really impressed by the innovative solutions you provide for your clients. Your commitment to excellence and your focus on creating value for your customers aligns with my own values and what I'm looking for in a company. I'm excited about the opportunity to contribute to your team and help drive growth for the company. That's great to hear. How about the position itself? What interests you about it? I'm really excited about the responsibilities of this position and how they align with my skills and experience. I've always been drawn to project management and the opportunity to oversee projects from start to finish. The role also involves working with cross-functional teams, which I find really rewarding. I enjoy collaborating with others and I think the best ideas come from diverse perspectives. Sounds like a good fit. Can you tell me about a time when you had to manage a project with a cross-functional team? Favorite music. What is your favorite kind of music? I listen to various types of music. What genres? I enjoy listening to both rock and R&B. What interests you in that type of music? I enjoy the different types of instruments that they use. That is a perfect reason to like a certain kind of music. That's exactly what I think too. When do you start? Hey Lisa. I just got a job at a consulting firm. Congratulations. That's great. I'm so happy. I don't have to worry about finding a job and interviewing anymore. When do you start? I start next Monday. You're going to have to put in a lot of hours, you know? I know. I'm a little nervous. But it's pretty exciting. I bet. You must be stoked. Yeah. I'm going to celebrate tonight. Wanna hang out? Sure. It's on you, right? Of course. How about Toby? Should we call him? I don't know. He's a little depressed. He's having a hard time finding a job right now. I should still tell him. In the least, I can refer him to my company. It might help. That sounds like a good idea. On a date. I can't believe it took you so long to ask me out on a date. I always thought you liked Mark, so I didn't think I had a chance. I had this thing about him, but it's over. So, what do you like to do in your free time? 
I like sports. Watching movies. And reading books. Things like that. What type of movies do you like? I like drama and comedy. Me too. Mostly drama though. Have you seen Pay It Forward? Yeah. I love that movie. It's one of my favorites. I cried so much at the end. I thought the idea of paying it forward was awesome. What was your favorite comedy? Do you remember The Three Amigos? Vaguely. I was pretty little when that came out. I don't remember it much back then, but I saw it again the other day and it cracked me up. Maybe I need to see that movie again. I think it is a classic. So many funny scenes. I really liked The Mask with Jim Carrey. He is hilarious. I love that guy. I like most of his movies. He is such a character. What else do you like to do? Well, I like to exercise. Where do you exercise? I go to a health club by my house. But on a nice day, I like to jog around the lake. That's good. I like to stay in shape too. But I do that by playing a lot of sports. Do you play any sports? I played a little bit in high school, but nothing really these days. Have you tried golf? Don't start with that. My dad always nagged at me to play, but I never got into it. What do you usually do with your friends? We go out shopping a lot. Where do you usually go? Usually downtown. It's more fun in the city than in the mall. Plus, there are too many high school students at the mall. I know some girls like bags, and some like shoes. What do you like to shop for the most? I can never have too many pairs of shoes. I have like 30 pairs already, but I am always shopping for more. Oh. The food's here. Great. I'm so hungry. After dinner, do you want to catch a movie? Sure. I'm always up for a good movie. It's nice to meet you. Hi. Aren't you in my sociology class? I think so. With Professor Robinson, right? Yeah. I'm Nicole. I'm George. It's nice to meet you. How are you liking the class so far? I like the subject. I think it's pretty interesting. Me too. But it's hard to sit in class when the weather is so nice. Tell me about it. The weather has been so great lately. So, what year are you? I'm a sophomore. How about you? I'm a freshman. Where are you from around here? No. I'm from the East. I grew up in New York. New York? That seems like a fun place. More like a busy place. Everyone is always on the run over there. I grew up in San Francisco. That's not too far from here. Do you like living on the West Coast? I haven't been to many other places, but the West Coast is a great place. Yeah. I like it too. Are you ready for the midterm next Friday? I'm so behind. 
I've been going out a lot. I'm having so much fun, but I really need to catch up on my schoolwork. Where do you usually hang out? Nowhere specific. We always do different things. Have you been to Alcatraz yet? Not yet. I want to go though. I highly recommend it. It's an interesting place to visit. Maybe you could take me there. If you get a B or better on your midterm, I'll take you there. Deal. It was great meeting you. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Okay. See you later. Complimenting someone's clothes. I absolutely love what you're wearing today. You do? I just bought this outfit a couple days ago. Seriously, it looks really nice on you. Where did you buy it from? I bought it from the Macy's at the Santa Anita Mall. I really like that outfit. Thanks. I think you look nice today, too. Thank you. I just bought these new shoes earlier today. Those are nice. What are they? These are bestseller products in the store near my house. Those are great. How much were they? I got them for 40. I think I might go and find me my own pair of shoes like that. Expressing joy at someone's success. I haven't told you what happened yet, have I? I haven't heard anything. My boss offered me a promotion, and I took it. Are you serious? Yes, I am really excited. That's great. Congratulations. I appreciate that. You have no idea how happy I am for you. For real? I believe you were the best choice for that promotion. I really do. Why is that? How are you feeling these days? I don't know. A little bored and restless, I guess. Why is that? I have so much time on my hands and I have nothing to do. Why don't you go out and have fun?
What is your favorite hobby? So Mark, what is your favorite hobby? Probably sports. Anything specific? Or just sports in general? Most sports. I like basketball. Football. Baseball. Golf. And tennis. So I guess most sports. I like tennis. Did you play for your high school team? Yeah. I played on the varsity team starting from my sophomore year. How about you? I played my junior and senior years. What other sports did you play? I played volleyball. I would have to say volleyball is my favorite. What position did you play? I was the outside hitter. That's so cool. I didn't know you were athletic. I don't know if I would consider myself athletic, but I have fun playing. I play on a co-ed volleyball team every Tuesday. We're always looking for more girls to play on our team. Would you be interested? Yeah. It sounds fun. Just call me anytime you need a player. That's great. Since we are on the topic of sports, what sport do you like to watch on television? I never got into watching sports on TV. So I really don't know. Not even the Super Bowl. Only when the group of people I'm with is watching it. I just never had an interest in TV that much. Well, I like following the Mariners. They're pretty good. I like to go watch them play. It's fun when you are actually there. A bunch of us are going to watch them play this June. Do you want to join us? Yeah. I'll go. I like the new stadium. It's pretty cool. Okay. I'll make sure to get you a ticket as well. Are you doing okay? What did Mike get you for your birthday? He got me a watch. See. That's beautiful. He must have spent a fortune on it. He's so great. I think he might propose pretty soon. How do you know? Did he give you any clues? He took me to a jewelry store and asked me what type of rings I like. It was a little obvious, but at least I got to pick the one I wanted. That's not so romantic. He was never romantic. Silly and cute, but not romantic. I like all his quirkiness. He always makes me laugh. I guess you can't ask for much more than that. How is it going with you and Brad? We broke up a week ago. I'm sorry to hear that. What happened? I think we both just started to grow apart. I wasn't surprised. Are you doing okay? Actually, I'm feeling great. I guess I needed some freedom. Have you started seeing other guys yet? Not yet, but I when I meet a decent guy, I wouldn't mind dating again. What kind of guy are you looking for? Although my relationship with Brad wasn't that bad, I want a guy who likes to go out more. Brad always spent all his time studying and researching for school. It was quite boring. You definitely need a guy who likes to have fun. I wouldn't mind dating a romantic guy. Maybe I'm dreaming. But a nice walk down the beach. Or dancing in the moonlight would be something I would love to do. Hey. There are guys like that. All you have to do is find the right one. But that's the hard part. I always fall for the guy who is smart. 
And then, after a couple of months, I get bored. Doesn't a tall, good-looking guy turn you on? Not really. What should I do? We should go to a club this Saturday and find a smart romantic guy. How does that sound? That sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Great. I'll see you at nine then. Okay. See you later. Favorite movie. Out of every movie that you've seen, which one is your favorite? I'm going to have to say that Friends is the best movie ever. You think so, how come? Well, Friends is super funny. You're not lying, I found that movie absolutely hilarious. I didn't know that you saw Friends before. I made sure to be in line to see it the first day it came out. I couldn't keep from laughing throughout the whole movie. I was laughing hysterically the whole time, my stomach muscles hurt afterwards. That's exactly how I felt. I got the movie when it came out on DVD, do you want to come over? I would love to. How are you doing? Hey Jane. How are you doing? Hi Jack. I'm doing great. I hope you haven't been waiting too long. No. I just got here a few minutes ago. Do you know if smoking is allowed in our office? I think that is a no-smoking place. Do you want to go somewhere else? That's all right. I don't need to smoke. Why don't you quit? I never thought about it. All my friends smoke, and we hang out a lot. So do you smoke by yourself? When I started I didn't, but after a few months I started smoking at home. Usually when I'm bored. Do you smoke because you're bored? Yeah. It helps to kill the time. I also think it's out of habit. I'm so used to having a cigarette every now and then. How much do you smoke in a day? I smoke about a half pack a day. Well, I think you should quit. You know it's bad for you? I always knew it was bad, but I never thought about it. You better start thinking about it now. You might not feel the difference now. But after 10 years of smoking, you might feel it and then it will be too late. That's a good point. I'll try to quit. Good. And if you need any support, I'll always be here for you. Thanks. What have you been up to? Hey John. I didn't know you were coming to this school. Yeah, what a coincidence. It's good to see you. It's been a while, hasn't it? What have you been up to? Not much. Just school and stuff. Where are you going now? I'm going to the registration building to see if I can withdraw from one of my classes. Are you bombing the class or something? Partially that. But mostly it's a boring class and I am getting nothing out of it. Where are you off to? I finished class for today, so I am meeting my boyfriend to watch a movie. What are you watching? The Lord of the Rings. I haven't seen it yet. Have you? Yeah, I saw that about a month ago. It was really good. Don't tell me anything about it. I don't want to ruin the surprise. No problem. Hey, what are you doing this weekend? Nothing really. I was going to rent a video and just hang out at home. My fraternity is going to have a party on Saturday night. 
Wanna come? Hey, that sounds like fun. What fraternity are you in? I'm over at the Delta Fraternity House. Cool. Give me your number and I'll call you Saturday. It's 206-555-1212. All right. I'll see you on Saturday. See you later. Hang out. Hi. My name is Robert. I'm John. It's nice to meet you. Do you know what this professor is like? I have no idea. This is my first year. You a freshman? Me too. Where are you from? I'm from San Francisco. I've been there a few times. It's a great city. Where are you from? I grew up in this area all my life. So you know where all the fun places to hang out, right? Yeah. The best place is over by the water. They have a lot of clubs and bars. I drove by that area before. I didn't know it was a college hangout. It gets pretty wild over there sometimes. You should go. Sounds like a good idea. Do you know what you are majoring in yet? Not yet. I'm leaning towards business, but that's only if I can't get into computer science. How about you? I want to go to mid school, so I'll probably end up majoring in biology. That's cool. Is the weather this bad all the time in the fall? Yep. This is a typical autumn. It gets worse though. At least it's not raining that much. That sucks. You'll get used to it. In the meantime, you'll have to watch a lot of movies. Seems like the only thing to do with the bad weather. Too expensive. Can you believe how much movies cost these days? Yeah. It's crazy. It's like nine bucks a movie. I remember when it was half that. Unless it's a date, I'm not going to pay that much to watch a movie. That makes sense. Oh. The professor is coming. I'll talk to you later. All right. What's the rent? I'm calling about the available room. Is it still available? Yes, it is. Do you know where we're located? Yeah. I drove by this morning and I liked the location. It's $850 a month. So you would pay $425 a month plus half of the bills. How big is the place? It's a two bedroom, one bath and roughly about 800 square feet. Is the complex pretty quiet? Can you hear a lot of noise or anything like that? They have a strict policy in the apartment complex concerning noise level. So it stays very quiet after 10 p.m. Are you the only person who lives there now? Yeah. I'm only looking for one roommate. Everything sounds good. Can we schedule a time to meet so I can look at the place? I'm available anytime today or tomorrow. How about if I come over now? That works with me. But what is your name? Oh, my name is Brad. Okay. I'm Randy. So I'll see you in a bit? Should only take about 15 minutes to get there. Sounds good. And that's it for today's English lesson. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more English language learning videos.
If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and we'll do our best to respond. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future English lessons. And if you want to take your English learning to the next level, check out our channel more often. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next English lesson.